in my heart, it means that you are saved. That means that Jesus' spirit now comes and lives within you. Are we, are we there? So when God is telling us, Holy Spirit is telling us, that there's idol worship in the temple. He's not talking about nothing in the church. He's talking about there's something in our bodies that we are worshiping and it ain't him. What you mean? When I'm in this relationship, I'm more concerned about him or her more than I am about God. I talk more to them than I talk to God. I talk more to them than I'm on my knees praying. I'm on my job doing, getting work because I want to get a house. I want to get a car. I'm doing all these things more than I talk to God. I'm doing stuff for my kids more than I'm doing for God. I'm doing things for this relationship more than I'm doing for God. I'm all concerned about what they're doing on the Atlanta Housewives than I am about the things of God. I'm all concerned about what they're doing on social media than I am about the things of God. That's an indication that there are some spirits in you that you're not concerned about God anymore. Because there's a devil that told you if you just come to church, God going to bless you. The devil told you if you just read your Bible, God is going to bless you. And that's a lie from the pits of hell. You got to do more than that. Let's go to Jeremiah 7. It's what the people of God have gotten so concerned with the outside things. They got so concerned with the things of the world than they are with the things of God. You got people want to fight people about what the police is, how they coming up and they killing people. Well, we want to sit up. Well, we're not even concerned about the murders. We're not concerned that our children, that they don't have any fathers. We're not concerned that the mothers are leaving their homes. We're not concerned. Parents are telling the children to do whatever you they want to do. People are not concerned anymore. You got people in church not telling people the truth because they just want your money. They ain't caring about your soul. And we don't got so comfortable we accept it. We know what we're doing ain't right, but we fine with it. How can you be fine when you know that this body was made to house God? This body was made to house the true and living God, but you give it to somebody else. You let somebody else tell you what you need to wear. You let somebody else tell you what you need to eat. You let somebody else tell you who you are. They tell you you ugly and you believe it. They tell you you stupid and you believe it. They tell you you ain't no good and you believe it. The doctor tell you you sick and you believe it. We got idols in our temple. These are idols. What is an idol? Something that you give your attention to more than you give God. It's an idol. This is where we are more wiser. We know more than our parents knew. But we are so far from God. Lord. How is it our parents and ancestors? They could not even read. But they were more closer to God than we are. They were people of obedience. They were people that they listened. Some of them did. And some of us may say. Well I am the way that I am. Because this is what I was taught then we got to understand that God said, you know what? But I'm going to put you around people to show you that you're making a bad, you're making the wrong decisions, but why are you continuing to do it? Let's look at Jeremiah 7. Looking at Jeremiah 7, before we go there, Prophet Price talked about last week about the glory. And God began to show me this when I was studying it says in Isaiah 60, he said, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. I'm going to show you something. That means the glory of the Lord has already risen upon the people. But look what the next verse said. For behold, darkness will cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. Wait a minute. I thought you said God glory is everywhere. But in the next sentence, it says, and darkness.